boy, this is the part you don't want to goof it up because this is what really makes the car. Hello everyone, welcome back to Weg's Garage. We are once again working on the interior for our 1964 Triumph TR4. If you watched last week, you probably got a pretty good idea where we're gonna be starting today. We're gonna to start by removing most of the work we did last week on getting our transmission tunnel carpet in and uh, hopefully get a little bit further along on that this time. So stay tuned. All right, so our strategy for today, uh, round two on this transmission tunnel carpet is we're gonna get this center support bolted down. Uh, and so this seam right here is nice and secure in there. Then we're gonna pull these snaps from last time. Uh, it is possible to pull them out without destroying them. Uh, so we'll hopefully be able to reuse most of those. Then we will reset the position of these by pulling the carpet into the right position to keep this lined up. Get those two in, then we'll go on to the two rear snaps. Okay, so we got our uh, prop shaft cover carpet in. That didn't go too bad. Uh, you got the seat belt attachments back here that go through. Just had to locate those, uh, get them on both sides nice and tight, and then uh, kind of do the same thing for the snaps here. It does get a little bunched up here where it crosses over the transmission tunnel carpet, uh, but I'm, I don't think there's really much you could do about that because there's two layers of carpet here, so it kind of has like a jog to it. So the next piece we've got to do is this sill carpet. It covers basically from the floorboard up to the top of the inner door sill. It curves around here. There's a little piece of vinyl there that covers up the pinch weld, and then the door seal fits over the top of that. So this piece of black backing stays on the horizontal. This folds up and over and down like that so adhesive here and here down to there and the same thing here and then this is free and you can go wherever you got to go with it. Okay.
All right, so you can see the sill pieces are in. Pretty easy to do, they just drape over here and come up under here a little bit. Or this little bit here gets held under the door seal, goes over the top of that and the pinch weld and makes it all look real pretty. All right, so we got our carpet kinda loosely put down for the floor pans, it's really looking good. There's two pieces to the floor pan carpet. There's a forward piece and a rear piece. This piece we think is only held in basically by the seat tracks being bolted through it. Uh, the other one has a couple of snaps here and then way up here there are some little metal tabs and ours are a little bit rotten. Uh, one of them is on each side pretty rusted out so I don't know if that'll work or not. That might still hold it up well enough uh, even though it's kind of damaged so we'll see how that looks. But the first step is going to be we don't want to actually glue the underfelt to the floor pans here. Uh, if the car ever gets wet or something like that it'll be really hard to dry out the felt on top of here and you could end up having issues with corrosion forming under there. So I think what we're going to do instead, we're actually going to glue the felt to the back of the carpets for these. Uh, maybe not glue like the whole thing, maybe just do a few little strips just to make it so it's a little easier to remove if we ever did need to remove that felt. But there's just a few little things you need to trim around first, like this handbrake isn't super clean yet. I think we need to trim around that and see if we can get that to lay a little bit nicer, but otherwise they really fit pretty well. I think I don't think this is going to be too difficult to get these in at all. So last step here. All right, so there it is. We've got our carpet in place. We glued the mats to the back of the pieces of carpet, like so. Kind of left it in from the edges a little bit because for the most part, everything overlaps like another piece of carpet. So you don't have to get it too perfect there. You can see the uh, carpet clips on this side were okay. I think we're gonna have to repair one over here. You can kind of see how this fits up with the handbrake here too. Kind of weird, I'm not really sure I like how they notch around this. I don't know if other cars, maybe this boot is a little bit more prominent, but almost seems like it would have been better if this just didn't have this notch in it, but uh, yeah, so be it. So from the looks of pictures and things I've seen, it looks like we got two snaps uh, towards the rear of this part of the floor mat that just goes into the floor just to hold the back edge of this in place. So we just gotta get those two snaps on each side and that is pretty much it. Are we rolling? Yes. Well, that's all we got time for today. We're really happy with how our carpet turned out. We're just sitting in the car making motor noises. You got to do that every once in a while. But I'll tell you what, really happy with the way our carpet came out. And, you know, a guy can do everything right on the mark mechanically. 
But boy, this is the part you don't want to goof it up because this is what really makes the car. And I, I'm really pleased with the job that got done here on this carpet. That's all right. All right. It's just a heater. <laughs> People love listening to our heater. Well, you got to have heat when you live north of 40 degrees north latitude. Yeah, about that. Take us home, Mark. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Later. I wouldn't edit a thing. I would put that.